Oh look, I found a bigger grenade. I mean, jar. Okay, that was a stilted joke if ever I heard one. So, assuming a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on off camera. Tailpipe. Charlie, char. That didn't pick up on the mic. That'd be just plain embarrassing. And let's see how it yeah, it'll work out for um, You know, just for S and G's, and because it's dirty fuel, and because I'm a complete nutcase. <sighs> I'm going to try one other thing, just to get a sort of a, is it different, well, this is way over ported. This is no tailpipe and with a really big oversized centered hole. And, well, that, doesn't, that does not work. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that, it fell over. But the camera can see better in the dark than I can. I'm not noticing there's no insulation in the There's the old prototype. And they got me going on these three porters. Alright. Ow! <laughs> okay, that feels plenty potent. At least it kills brain cells still. I'm thinking that's just too small a jar for this experiment. So we'll try it with a short pipe first. And if the jar survives, noting, of course, I have another one. It's just so much easier to not have to use the second piece of pipe. And these things do run without that second piece a lot of the time. So, assuming I'm still recording properly and it hasn't done something funky. And this doesn't grenade. Which I will greatly like a piece of match in my hair. There we go. That's the reaction we're looking for. So it ramps up. That's the thing that makes it a little... Different. Wow! Broken match. Nice! <laughs> All right, sometime I'll use something less primitive than a match. Maybe. Gee, that was begging on the last break if it was hot, which it probably was. Yeah, we're getting too warm. Backfire it? No. Anyway, let's see what kind of data I 